Hello everybody and good day. This is Fred Wood Tech Talk and I'm coming at you today with a video on what you can do if your Hikvision NVR or DVR is beeping constantly. <coughs> These recorders come with a built-in feature that will give you an audible alarm if the recorder senses an exception. An exception could be somebody trying to log in remotely to your recorder using an incorrect password. It could be a bad hard drive that is no longer recording. It could be an IP conflict where an IP camera is no longer connected to your recorder because its IP address is not on the gateway or not programmed into the recorder correctly. There are a multitude of reasons why you will be getting such an alarm. And again, they're very loud and annoying. So the purpose of this video is to teach you how to determine which alarm you're getting, how to remedy it, and also how to silence it. We're going to cover it all right now. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There's a subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Please click that and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so. Um, that way you'll be notified when we upload future content. Also like the video if it's useful and as always leave comments. A lot of these videos are based on viewer questions and comments. Okay, the first thing we are going to do is log into the recorder. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using HIK Connect. We have had previous videos on how to attach your DVR or NVR to the HIK Connect app. There's a video going across the top of your screen right now that will walk you through that process. That's certainly not the purpose of this video. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to log into the recorder and we are going to go into remote management. So in the top left, if you're in live view mode, in the top left hand corner of your screen right here, you will see a control panel button. In that control panel, um, you will see an option for device management. Okay and that will pull up the recorders that you have linked, okay, that you have linked to, um, to HIK Connect. So we are gonna pick a recorder and we are just going to hit remote config, okay? And this is gonna pull up the configuration settings of the recorder, okay? Once this populates, we are going to go to the event tab right here, okay? You'll see a little caret arrow beside it. When you click that, one of the options right here is going to be exception, okay? And that is what we're looking at. Those are the exceptions that could be sending you an audible alarm, okay? Um, if your disk is full right here, it could be sending you an audible alarm, right? If there's an exception, another exception with your hard drive. So disk is full as one. It could not recognize the hard drive at all. In that case, HDD exception is going to uh, enunciate. You'll be hearing the audible alarm from that. Network disconnected. If it becomes, if the recorder becomes disconnected from the internet, it will be. We talked about IP address conflicts with your gateway. Um, illegal logins, okay, people trying to log in with the wrong password. Um, and if recording or capture incidents um, are not working as they should. So the way you're going to find out which alarm is causing your alarm um, is pretty simple. You just want to uncheck that particular event. Okay, disk is full. We're going to unclick that, shut off the alarm. Um, and if the alarm stops, well, that's what it was, right? The disk is full, okay? If that's the case, you want to format your hard drive. So we'll go to HDD exception, HDD exception, I'm sorry. If we unclick audible warning there and hit save and the beeping stops, okay? It means the recorder is not discovering the hard drive, okay? So the hard drive could become unplugged over time or it could be bad, okay? So you have to go get a WD Purple SATA hard drive uh, and install it in your recorder, okay? We've got videos on how to do that. And we're not gonna go and, and silence each one, but if it's a networking issue, it would still be beeping at this point. So we'll go to network, disconnected, unclick the audible warning, hit save, and if the alarm stops, well, that was the problem, right? 
fairly simple. Um, what I would recommend, we've had previous videos on setting up email notifications through a SMTP server, okay? Um, we talked about it with motion alerts, okay? If there's an alert on your property, the recorder can send you an email uh, with what's causing that motion. You can do so also with these exceptions, okay? You just enable email linkage. And then if the hard drive uh, stops recording or is full, you'll get a very specific email uh, from Hikvision saying the hard drive's full or saying that you have an IP exception. Okay, so you won't have to go in um, and silence each of these audibles to figure out which one it is. Okay, again, there's a video going across the top of your screen right now that talks about how you set up those SMTP uh, exchange email servers uh, to work with your with your NBR or DBR. Okay, so that's that. Let's cover now, say your recorder is not connected to HIK Connect and you need to do this on site through a monitor that is connected directly to your recorder. All right, so let's get into it. Before we start, does anybody know how many computer programmers does it take to change a light bulb? The answer is none because it is a hardware problem. Get it? Software. Never mind. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab your mouse and we're going to right click with the mouse and that will bring you to the main menu. Okay, we're going to then left click on the top button right here. It says menu. Okay. On the next screen, we're going to click on configuration. Okay, the configuration button. And once we do that, you will see exceptions right here. It's very similar. All of this is parallel to HIK Connect. Um, but what we would do is we would go through each of these exceptions. There's a drop down carrot over here. Um, pick each of them and then unclick the audible warning and then hit save. And when the audible sound stops, um, you've found your problem and you can fix it. We pretty much have videos on any exception that you could come across, right? We've got a video on installing hard drives. There's a video going across the top of your screen right there uh, for that. There's a, uh, a video on how to format hard drives going across the top of your screen right now. Um, as far as the IP conflicts, well, that's telling us that your IP camera is not plugged in most likely directly to the PoE switch built into your NVR. It's using a standalone PoE switch somewhere uh, on the property. Um, so you'll have to rediscover that camera um, and re-network it to your Hikvision NVR. Um, there's a link going across the top of your screen right now walking you how uh, through how to do that. Um, so yes, those alarms are very annoying. I again would recommend setting up the SMTP, the email exchange service, um, and be notified of these exceptions that way because those will pinpoint the exact problem uh, without you going through the prompt and disabling the alarm for each possible scenario. Okay, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the field.